ask that General Business notice of motion number 1092, standing in my name for today, relating to anti-white racism, be taken as a formal motion. Anyone who pays attention to the news or spends any time on social media has to acknowledge that there has been a rise in anti-white racism and a rise in attacks on the very ideals of Western civilisation. I would also hope the Senate does the right thing and acknowledges it is indeed okay to be white. Such a simple sentence should go without saying, but I suspect many members in this place would struggle to say it. People have a right to be proud of their cultural background, whether they are black, white or brindle. If we cannot agree on this, I think it's safe to say any white racism is well and truly rife in our society. Oh, wow. <laughs> Senator Inch. Wow. Mr. President. I seek leave to make a short statement. His leave granted. Leave is granted for one minute. Senator Thank you, Hitch. Madam Deputy President. With the federal election looming, I'm starting to think that Senator Hanson and a former colleague, Senator Anning, are now locked in a race to see who can be the biggest, the loudest, racist bigot in their conscience to see who can get to the bottom of the sewer first. Well, it's not just OK to be white in Australia. It's actually a ticket to winning the lotto. It's a ticket to winning the lotto. Just look around this chamber, see how many faces you see that aren't white. Look, the reality is this it's OK to be white slogan has got a long history in the white supremacist movement where both these clowns get most of their material from. You know what it's not OK to be in this country? It's not OK to be Aboriginal because you're more likely to die younger to be locked up. It's not OK to be an African person because you're more likely to experience racism. Order. There being 28 ayes and 31 noes, the matter is resolved in the negative.